If you ever wonder why your ex left you, it was because your chest was not big enough. Your chest was not big enough to support the load of the relationship. And they believe that you're not capable to sustain a long-term relationship. But no worries, because in today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to be doing to grow your chest naturally. So let's get right into it. So by now, you know that you need to also work out your shoulders and triceps if you want to get good at your chest. You cannot work out your chest without moving your arms like this. Like what? Now, if you're trying to know exactly the volume that you need to be doing, there's a bunch of data, science, evidence based information out there that tells us exactly what we need to be doing. Like the people here at Wade Tall You. They gather a bunch of meta-analysis and they came up with this uh, article, Set Volume for Muscle Size, the Ultimate Evidence-Based Bible. Now, the only thing that I want to touch on here, and I'll leave the link down below if you want to go and read the whole thing for yourself. On average, hypertrophy appears to increase with increasing volumes of up to six to eight heart sets. Now, let's see. A heart set, do you know what that is? No, it's not that. That's why she left you. The hard set is actually a set of repetitions somewhere between six to eight reps. If you're trying to get uh, a six to eight hard sets in a single training session, you are within the standard of what the science says, the evidence says that you should be doing to induce hypertrophy. Uh, in my case, I'm doing somewhere around 10 to 12 hard sets per session because right now I'm exercising my chest once a week. Now, uh, if I do this every other week, that will be a total amount of what? 20 sets, maybe 30 sets per month, which again, keeps me within the range, at least in the minimum part of the range on how to grow my muscle. That being said, the first thing you gotta do is like structure your workouts in order that it makes sense to you. If you don't have any time to spend more than 60 minutes in the gym, you should probably consider do less sets and spread them out throughout the week. What works for me is doing six exercises every time I go to the gym. I always start my push days with a flat barbell bench press. Recently, I accomplished the feature of hitting five repetitions with 225 pounds. And I'm currently 185 pounds, which is, that's actually uh, an accomplishment for me. I started benching in 2020, 2021, and I was only barely making 155 pounds. Took me three years, yeah, I did it naturally though, so props to me, and I'm in my 30s, so double props to me. Yeah, hit the like button if you can do 225. Once I'm done with my bench press, I go into my first shoulder movement. And the thing with the shoulders is like, you need to be doing a full range of motion, at least one set. And I always do one set with a full range of motion. Uh, my heart set, eight to 12 reps, and then I do one which is with a higher weight, but more of a medium range. Like I don't do complete the full range of motion. I just stop right there at uh, eye level-ish. And then I usually take two minutes in between sets, which is a right amount of time based on the data that says that the more you weigh in between sets, at least two minutes, the better is for hypertrophy purposes. And that's all we're trying to do here, hypertrophy. Now, when I'm done with my shoulder, I go right into the incline dumbbell or the incline Smith machine. I always try to keep the bench around the number three, 45 angle, anything between 30 degrees to 45 degrees will be optimal. If you go any higher on the bench, now you're entering the shoulder area and less chest uh, area. Once we're done with the dumbbell incline press, we go into cable flies. Now I do the cable flies a little bit differently. I start with the high rep range, then I go into the mid range, and I end the last set with the low to high repetitions. Now, the, they're all between eight to 10 reps. I do change the weight based on the uh, capacity that I can move at that time, because not every single high will give you the same amount of intensity, and you need to work accordingly to the rep range. So if you do anything, Let's say if you hit 50 pounds with the high range of motion, I definitely won't be able to do that going from lower to high because that's very intense and I'm, I'm not that strong. Again, I'm just a normal person, normal human being. You're weak. You are always weak. You'll always be weak until you take control. We're done with the cable flies. I hop into beautiful dips. That's more for the triceps area and you can do anything between eight to 12 reps 
without any way, you're most definitely be able to do some reps with some sort of way. You can start with the 25 pounds, get the chain belt uh, attached to you and start repping as much as you can. If you can do six to eight reps, you are golden. You are right there where you're supposed to be. Now, you got to be doing that at least twice a month whenever you're doing with the chain belt so you can progressively overload and get to the next level of strength. Once we're done with the dips, I finish with the machine press so I can feel the muscle and the blood going through my body where I'm going to be pushing to failure. That's my last set of the day. Uh, if you will, my last exercise of the day. And I want to make sure I hit the failure portion of it. Because at that point now, you're already done. You're there. You're able to put everything you have because you know you're not going to be doing anything more after that. Now, go ahead and make sure to check my other videos if you do enjoy the natural portion of it. Uh, this format of explaining how the workouts work for me. And it might work for you with a little bit of science base. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the month. And whatever month we're watching this, hopefully I'm already at 500 subscribers. Now, that's all I have for today. Stay natural. See ya.